Welcome back you guys. Right now we are going to add these components we were working with and we are going to set some sizes and maybe add some action listeners. Maybe even a method. We don't even know. We'll see where we get. But for now we are going to add these guys to our window. So let's do that. I'm going to make a comment that says add component spelling and I will add all of them simply by typing add and then we will add text area and let's add the save button and let's add the color combo and let's add the font combo and let's add the processor label mm -hmm. And let's finally add, last but not least, font size. Okay, well, that is the entirety of adding, so that's good to go. And let us add some boundaries to these guys. So this will take a tiny bit. Um, I will put all the boundaries in the description because it probably sucks to have to copy all of them down. So if you want to just copy and paste and be lazy, go for it. I'm going to put these boundaries in the description, so get pumped for that and I will start adding these. So let's set the bounds for the text area first. So text area dot set bounds and let's set this to 10 by 10 by 650 by 450 and I'm going to fast forward here so um, get ready for that. Okay, there we go. So we've completely added all the boundaries for these components and they will pop up on the screen in these specific positions. So if you want to see what this looks like, let's just comment out this error, the text area dot set foreground, so we can comment that out and let's run the program. Um, Java application. Okay, that was weird. Um, you know what, let's find out what these errors are. Oh, okay, you know what, let's not run yet. We need to add a method. I forgot to do that. So, um, we first need to add our action listeners before we add this method. So let's do that. You know what an action listener is? It listens, I'm putting air quotes, you can't see. It listens to see if a button is being clicked or a slider is being moved or a color combo box has been selected, etc. So let's add these guys. So I'm going to comment, add action listeners. And I'm going to add a comment out here that says set boundaries. Okay. And in the add action listeners, I'm going to do save button dot add action listener. And I'm going to set this to this class. And then I'm going to give one the color combo dot add action listener. To this class and then I'm going to do a font combo dot add action listener to this class okay there we go so now we need to add our action listener method and that's very simple all we do is exit these quotes and type a public not <laughs> that isn't even remotely close public void action performed and action event e okay and we have to import action event and there we go so the reason this was returning an error is because we never actually added the action performed method so it was getting very confused as to what was going on so now we can run it make sure you have um, this commented out because it's not working right now and let's run so it is going to run eventually. Here it is. And here is the big screen. That is pretty sweet. I don't know why this is so fat. Okay. Um, but we can fix that. So this is what it looks like. Um, and yeah, so this is the entire word processor. You can type in here. 
you can select a font in here, you can select a color in here, you can save the file here, you can slide around your font here, and that isn't fully showing. But that is the word processor. And yeah, so um, I will see you guys in the next tutorial. That is just uh, a little sneak peek of what's coming, and all those features will work in time. But until then, I will see you later.